What's going on guys? It's Sunday here at the event. It is <sighs> messed it up already, bro. Slipping. Catching me slipping. What's going on guys? It's Sunday at the event. We are walking to the venue right now. This right here is the Smite, uh, the Smite venue. It's pretty sweet. I like how they're doing all these screens and all these multiple screens with all the people's faces and stuff. Their warm-up stations. This is the whole venue. It's kind of like Anaheim from a couple years ago. So this is all the behind the scenes of MLG. It is incredible. These guys just crush everything. They do so much hard work. The Pro Lounge, all watching on this TV right here. So we definitely gotta get a bigger TV for back here. So this is one of the craziest things here this weekend. All right, so it's the gaming throne. It is this massive throne in which you play video games on. I'm about to show you guys. Look at this great man right here. Top of the howdy. He owns gaming thrones. You own gaming thrones. He owns gaming thrones. This is his son. They're both the sons. They're one big family of gaming thrones. So this thing, this is it. Check this thing out. So you got this whole thing going on. It like wow. All right. So you have the cup holder. You got the rack for the headset. You put the computer down below there. So you climb up with these stairs right here. And then you sit in the gaming throne, and then all of a sudden this little thing just flies right in front of you. And so your TV and your keyboard, well your TV gets bolted right here. Monitor right here. Monitor right there. Keyboard right here. And mouse keyboard right there. there. And then over there. mouse right here, you have a mouse pad right here. And then you've got, you can put your phone right here or whatever else you have, iPad, phone, whatever you're looking for. You have two cup holders on both sides. You got the keyboard right there, and you got the mouse right here. Oh man! So the elbow, wrist, and WASD all, all in line. line and be perfect. It is preventing arthritis one step at a time. It is. It is. Just, this is incredible. It's incredible. I need one of these things. One day, Simba. One day. So guys, make sure to check out their website, GamingThrones.com. They're doing a giveaway. It is over in five days from right now. And for just a, and if you don't want to do the giveaway for just a casual six thousand dollars, you can purchase one of those. Man, it is crazy! And if I had six thousand dollars to blow, that is exactly what I would get. That thing is incredibly awesome. I love that thing. We lost the dog. Yeah, he's. Jack is gone. You lost Jack too. They lost Jack. Everyone here lost Jack. The CEO has gone missing. How are you, Mama Scump? Ah, uh, thank you. Oh, uh, what's up, bro? I didn't even see you there. How you doing? Too bad. How you been? This is the great Scumpy's little br or big brother. Who am I talking to right now? Ah, uh, you too. Yeah, the world. I don't know. Like the much less viewers than your brothers. I saw Bale there for like a thousand points again yesterday. Yep. Always go at the over. Yeah, you clean up pretty good. Oh, uh, thanks, man. You look great yourself. <laughs> we found Jack. What's up, bub? What's up, dude? What's Jack the CEO. What's up, Police K9 unit. Yeah. Ready for action. Optic gaming on tournament point. Looking really good in that last match. I don't know why. Straight for the pick. On time. Time ticking. It's going to be getting a little antsy. Alive in the search and destroy. We will be crowning our 2015 champions. Up to game on the defensive side. Grim, 10 kills already. Is he going to find number 11? It still comes up for cover. It's essentially a 1v3 for 10. Yeah! 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 Honestly, it felt great. Um, I came in this weekend and I just didn't suck like the other events. Give us some words. Watch out. So the event is finally over. Optic Gaming has won. Congratulations to them. It has been a great event here in New Orleans. Not really ready to go home, but at the same time, I am. 
miss all my friends, miss my girlfriend, the whole nine yards. I'm walking back to the hotel right now to kind of get out of the suit, but I've had a lot of questions from people as to why I always wear the suit and everything. And I'm gonna go ahead and stop and like kind of let y'all know why I wear the suit. So it all started back in Black Ops 2 whenever I was a coach. When I think of coaches, I think of all the sports that we watch every day. And I see the coaches wearing suits for the most part. And so I thought it was only appropriate to wear a suit to coach. I thought that was the only way I should do it. And it was only proper to do it in gaming and all of those sports. So I thought it would be best if I always wore a suit. And then it kind of transformed into something that actually was what I did. I was the one who wore the suit. And I'm still the one who wears the suit, I guess. This is my suit. This is my jersey. This is my way of competing. And What's up, bro? Huh? Yeah. It's kind of boys. We got Facento here. Yep. Bryce. You having a good day? It's all right. We got we got a bunch of people. So what's up? We got Happy Suda, chilling on the way back to the hotel. Got Aries. Got TCM. <laughs> Everyone out here is just nervous around the camera. I just don't understand. I mean, yo, you just gotta make sure to like look into the lens, project your voice to the camera. You know we're rocking. You know how we're rocking. Absolutely, every day. Having a good ass time.